this is the collimator prism table telescope and this is the prism this is the base of the prism this is a rough surface square in shape the base of the prism is placed towards the telescope the sharp edge towards the collimator now the lamp is sodium vapor lamp <coughs> and we are going to find the wavelength refractive index of the material of the prism initially the radian screw under the telescope is open the telescope is now moved towards <coughs> the corner of the base now viewing through the ips viewing through the ips the image of the split is so this is how the split appears when it is viewed through the one side of the base one side of the base now it is focused sharply by using this screw it is focused very sharply the image is sharply focused using this screw and then <coughs> the radial screw is tightened closed now using the tangential screw that is a fine adjustment screw the position of the slit can be adjusted <coughs> towards a vertical cross wire of the telescope this is how it is adjusted now the slit is coinciding with the vertical cross wire <coughs> there will be two wires there one will be the vertical cross wire and another will be the horizontal wire now the slit is coinciding with the vertical cross wire <coughs> now the reading is noted in the vernier one the vernier one has a vernier scale in which the readings are from 0 to 30 and find the zero here This is where the zero is. Using a, a hand lens, a convex lens, you can see the position clearly. Now, the reading which is coinciding with the zero of the vernier here at the bottom, that's the main scale. The reading that coincides with zero of this vernier will be taken as the main scale reading MSR. And again. to get the reading clarity and use the lens and use the lens so which reading coincide with the zero in the lower scale will be taken as the msr <coughs> for the vernier coincidence the vernier coincidence is the reading on the vernier scale which exactly coincides with the main scale which will be between 0 and 30 always now this is vernier 1 reading similar procedure is done for the vernier 2 so here again the same procedure is done another vernier scale is here so whichever reading on the main scale which coincides with the zero is taken as msr and whichever reading out of the 30 which exactly coincides with the any of the main scale will be taken as the vernier process. so the two readings are noted down this is the position r1 now to do the r2 position once again the radial screw is open and the telescope is moved now until it comes parallel to which of the radial 